We have all heard the importance of medical research. It can provide better treatments and cures for people living with the diseases. Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation funds hundreds of research projects, and one is giving families the gift of time. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl introduces us to a mom who says that was all she could hope for. And Eli was diagnosed in December of 2011 with medulloblastoma which is a brain cancer. He was seven years old, a little boy who loved Mustang cars, and he had the worst kind of brain cancer. On paper, Eli was basically a dead man walking. But what the paperwork didn't show was this was a little warrior who became known as Eli the Eliminator Williams. Over a period of six years, he had half a dozen brain surgeries, chemo and radiation. Then, when everything failed, the family found hope at the Georgia Cancer Center, Augusta University. University. When we went to Dr. Johnson, um, Eli had been rejected for, I don't know, 10, 15 experimental trials. Dr. Johnson's research focuses on terminal pediatric patients, maybe someday to find a cure, but first it's aimed at providing extra time. Offering a hopeful option to families and children uh, who don't have a lot of treatments available to them. Dr. Johnson is testing an immunotherapy used in combination with chemotherapy and radiation. We've seen a lot of kids' symptoms improve. Uh, for a lot of kids, we've seen their quality of life improve. It was a critical 16 months for Eli's family, time he spent building special memories with his little brother, Caleb, and his big sisters, too. Eli was able to enjoy quality of life higher than most kids who have been cured. A primary funding source for Dr. Johnson's work comes from the Alex Lemonade Stand Foundation. Without that funding, it really wouldn't have been possible. So I credit Alex's Lemonade Stand foundation for uh, for bringing this treatment out of the lab and into the clinic for children. That was the dream for Alex Scott, who died of neuroblastoma. She wanted to turn lemons into lemonade and help other children fighting cancer. When Eli's mom learned that Alex's foundation was backing Dr. Johnson, she felt a special connection. My heart jumped. I knew that there were parents behind the organization that knew what I was going through. Eli lost his battle last year. The Brave Eliminator was 12. Like Alex's parents, Eli's parents created a foundation to raise money for research, hoping to spare other families the heartache. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And you can help pediatric cancer researchers and families fighting cancer by donating to our 12th annual Alex Scott a Stand for Hope Telethon will be broadcasting throughout the day tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. right here on CBS 3.